Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Tara and here on my channel, I make skincare products and I share with you guys the recipes I come up with. So today we're gonna to be making this Vanilla Rose Milky Facial Cleanser. And this is actually the first milky cleanser I've ever made and I really like it and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So we're gonna be making a 150 gram batch of this facial cleanser and we're gonna be starting with our water phase. The first thing you need to do in the water phase is start out with some xanthan gum. And this is xanthan gum soft. And I'm adding in 0.75 grams of the xanthan gum soft. And then I'm going to be creating a slurry with some vegetable glycerin. This will help hydrate the xanthan gum. I added in six grams of the vegetable glycerin. And then you just wanna to mix together the vegetable glycerin and the xanthan gum until it is completely hydrated in the glycerin. Then you can follow with the rest of your water ingredients. I'm starting with 30 grams of rose water. This will add some soothing benefits to your cleanser and it will give it a very nice soft rose fragrance. And as you can see, the formulation has gelled up. This is because of the xanthan gum. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some vanilla water. And again, we're using this ingredient for the light vanilla fragrance that this ingredient possesses. And I added in 10 grams of the vanilla water. And this just has a very mild, light vanilla fragrance to it. Then I'm going to be adding in 24 grams of distilled water and just mixing everything in until it is completely blended up together and as you can see it's a very thin jelly consistency. Now moving on to the oil phase, we're going to be starting with one of our emulsifiers, Olivum 1000. This is a peg-free, non-ionic oil and water emulsifier developed from natural olive chemistry. It's an emulsifier and it's a thickener. This is also EcoStir if you're interested. I added in six grams of the Olivum 1000. Then I followed with some glycerol stearate. This functions as a non-ionic opacifier, thickener, and formulation stabilizer. And it also offers skin conditioning, moisturization, and hydration. And I added in three grams of that. Then we're gonna be adding in some cocoa caprolate. This acts as an emollient and leaves a light, non-oily, smooth, and velvet skin sensation and I added in 15 grams of the cocoa caprolate. So that is it for the oil phase. Time to grab both of our beakers and place them in a water bath. And then I covered up both phases with aluminum foil and I'm going to heat both of these phases up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for 20 minutes. So while our oil and water phase are heating up, let's weigh out the cool down ingredients. I'm starting with 7.5 grams of distilled water and I'm adding in distilled water into the cool down phase in order to dissolve some DL panthenol. And I added in three grams of the DL panthenol. DL panthenol provides excellent humectant benefits for restoring and maintaining natural skin moisture. And I'm just mixing in the DL panthenol until it fully dissolves into the water. Next up is some strawberry extract. This is rich in vitamin C, known for containing soothing properties, and it can reduce the appearance of pores. And I added in three grams of the strawberry extract. Next up, we got some green tea extract. This is intended to act as a powerful antioxidant. It protects the skin from environmental free radical damage while also protecting the skin from UV radiation. It may minimize the appearance of skin damage by helping to tone the epidermis and improving elasticity to decrease the appearance of sagging skin and fine lines. And I added in three grams of the green tea extract. Then we have some oat protein. This imparts a soft, cushiony feel on the skin, and I added in three grams of the hydrolyzed oat protein. And lastly, we have our preservative. I apologize for the disgusting looking bottle. I'm so sorry. And I added in 0.75 grams of the liquid dermal plus, and then mixed everything together in the cool down phase. Oh wait, I forgot. This is my last ingredient for the cool down phase. Cocoa glucoside. So this is a non-ionic cleansing surfactant. So it helps cleanse the skin and it can also help emulsify oil and water together, which isn't really 100% necessary since we already have some emulsifiers in this formulation. But I wanted to choose a very, very mild cleansing surfactant for this milky cleanser since typically they are just very mild cleansers, which is why I chose cocoa glucoside as my cleansing agent, but you can use a different surfactant if you guys would like. But yeah, so I added in 30 grams of the cocoa glucoside and then mixed everything together one last time. So I'm gonna go grab my oil phase and water phase that was heating up and pour the water phase into the oil phase and then blend with an immersion blender. And while everything is still uh, pretty thin before it's completely emulsified, I added in some pink mica powder, blended it up with the immersion blender to completely break up the mica powder in the formulation. 
and then I took its temperature to see where it was at. So it was a little too warm right now, but I waited a little bit. And as you can see, it has thickened up quite a bit and now it's down to around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I can add in the cool down ingredients. And I just poured in a little bit at a time and then mixed it in, poured a little bit more, mixed it in until everything was well incorporated. So here we are. You can tell it's not too thick, it's not too thin. I think it's a really good consistency for a milky cleanser. So now it's time to test the pH. And I take two beakers, I fill one up with distilled water to rinse off my pH meter with. And then I'm gonna grab my 40% citric acid solution that's been diluted into 60% distilled water. And I began with adding in five drops of the 40-60 citric acid solution because I knew this was going to have a high pH since cocoa glucoside has a pH around like 10 or 11. So I just mixed in the citric acid solution for about a minute, just letting the pH balance. And I added in about three grams of the facial cleanser and then added in like 15 grams of distilled water. You just wanna dilute it in some water. You want about 10% of your product and then 90% distilled water to dilute it in in order to take the pH. So rinse your pH meter off before you dip it in your solution. Dip it in your solution, let it sit for about a minute, and as you can see, it's about 8.15, way too high. So I added in some more citric acid uh, solution. I ended up adding in a total of 20 drops of the 40-60 diluted citric acid solution in order to get my cleanser down to a good pH. And the final pH of my cleanser ended up being around 5.44. You want your cleanser to be anywhere between 4.5 to 5.5. That's a good pH for the skin. I'll actually link down below to a video that goes way more in depth on how to dilute products and properly take the pH of products. And keep in mind to always take the pH of the products you make because you might need more citric acid to get the pH to a good balanced pH level or you might need less. It all just depends. pH is super important to keep the skin healthy, so keep all that in mind. So now it's time to add on a label and we're finished. We have our Vanilla Rose Milky Facial Cleanser. So I highly recommend this cleanser to those of you who have very dry skin and you just are looking for a very mild cleansing of the skin. Maybe you didn't put on much makeup that day and your skin's been really dry and just irritated. This is a very soothing, mild facial cleanser. I wouldn't recommend it to those of you who have oily skin because it might not give you guys that clean feeling you're looking for. But this is seriously so good for people who have dry skin who just don't want all those oils just ripped away. This really makes you feel like you just almost put a moisturizer on, but also like feel clean at the same time. I really like this cleanser and it's definitely different from a lot of the cleansers I've used before, but I'm really enjoying it during these dry winter months. And especially, I don't really wear makeup during the week, so this is a really good cleanser for me during the work week. And here's the formulation so you guys can scale this recipe to however much you guys wanna make. So let me know what you guys are gonna be adjusting if you make this product yourself. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a blog. I will link it down below. It's over on Patreon. And I write blog posts that go along with all the recipes I make here on my channel. I give step-by-step -step directions as to how to make the product. I offer substitutions and in-depth descriptions as to why I'm using each ingredient. And you can actually download the recipe and directions and then print it out. Over there, check out my Patreon. I'll have it linked down below. You can always unsubscribe if you aren't getting what you're looking for. But anyways, let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. At Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube at sugared underscore and pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com, Satara here on YouTube, at Salt Air Label over on Instagram, Lenise Beauty at lenisebeauty.com, Ardrew Naturals at ardrewnaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, sharkcitycbd.com, Ohana Lay at ohanalay.com, and at Danny Botanicals over on Instagram. And one more thing, if you guys didn't know, I do sell products myself over on Etsy. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down below along with all of my lovely patrons. So I hope everybody loved this Vanilla Rose Milky Facial Cleanser. Let me know if you're gonna be making it and let me know how you're going to be customizing it for your skin type. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm frozen no, I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a big
Now I'm on a mission to find myself.